Round five of the Formula One World Championship sees the teams head to Barcelona for the Spanish Grand Prix. The 4.6 kilometer circuit to Catalunya is a mix of 16 high and low speed corners. The final two, known collectively as New Holland, provide the biggest challenge. A fast exit essential to maximize speed down the start finish straight into Elf, one of the track's few good overtaking opportunities. Red Bull's head of aerodynamics gives us his assessment of the Spanish circuit. Spain is a track that we, we test out and we know extremely well. Um, it, has, it has a long straight, it has not much in the way of high speed corners, but it's, uh, it has a lot of medium and low speed corners as well as this long straight, which again is a very good track for us to, to test at, you know, compared to you know, the likes of China and Jerez or other circuits, which are a good mixture of corners. We tend to see quite a different car characteristics by the time we get to the actual race in Barcelona. I think that's mainly to do with the, the weather as much as anything, but also the car has developed quite a bit from pre-season testing to by the time we get to that race. So Spain will be an interesting challenge to see how far everybody's come from pre-season testing to, to that race. Last year's Grand Prix was a standout moment for Max Verstappen, who in his first race for the team after promotion from Toro Rosso took a historic victory. Red Bull will hope for another great result this time round. I remember last year very well, yes, I was there and uh, it was a, a win with Max and his first time in the car. It was a, it was a fantastic occasion, yes. 